Good afternoon, <clears throat> good afternoon, pro wrestling fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of the pro wrestling show. On today's show, I'll be talking about the fallout of a one of the great historic pay per views of Survivor Series, and my thoughts on the late great Maurice Mad Dog Vachon. So let me go ahead and get underway with today's broadcast. Be talking to you guys about Survivor Series and the late great Maurice Mad Dog Michonne. And we're going to start off with the Survivor Series match card. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the first match of the evening. It was on the kickoff show right before the Survivor Series started, just 30 minutes before. It broadcasted live on pay-per-view. It was Kofi Kingston versus The Miz. Uh, as of last week, uh, in their tag match against... I believe it was against uh, The Shield, I believe. Because it was a tag match. Uh, the, Kofi Kingston dove and tried to tag in The Miz. But The Miz denied his tag... And just walked off after the match. So, so Kobe Kingston went one on one with the Miz uh, in the kickoff, uh, which was a great match. Uh, the Miz won the match over Kobe Kingston to start off the pay per view. It was the it was the first Survivor Series match of the night. It was The Shield, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Roman, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and the Real American, Chad Swagger, and Antonio Cesaro, with Zeb Coulter on their side, against the Tag Team Champions, The Brotherhood, Cody Rhodes, Goldust. Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, and Rey Mysterio. Great match with the Shield and the Brotherhood, the Usos, and the returning Rey Mysterio. Uh, the Shield and, I believe the Shield and, uh, I believe the Shield, uh, yeah, I believe the Shield, the Real Americans, won that contest, I believe. Um, it was a great, exciting match. Uh, wow. And that's what you call a great size pay-per-view match. Um, I'm not gonna really, uh, I'm not really gonna, uh, say my, um, uh, how many stars I'm gonna give it. I don't, not really get all that good with that, but I'm just gonna say uh, that it was a great contest. Then your next match of the evening, I believe it was the, uh, I believe it was the, I believe it was for the, the Intercontinental Championship, Big E Langston took on, uh, Curtis Axel for the Intercontinental Championship, Big E had a great week last week after defeating Curtis Axel last week on Raw for the at Raw Country, so Curtis Axel got his re- got his got his rematch for the Intercontinental Championship, but Kurt but Big E came up with the upper hand and defeated Curtis Axel for the second time. Then after that, it was uh, the Divas' turn for their traditional championship. It was the True Divas. It was elite. It was Oksana, um, Rosa Mendez, Caitlyn, Summer Rae, and Rosa Mendez, and Alicia Fox, AJ Lee, and Tamina Snuka. They took on the Total Divas. The Total Divas of Natalia, uh, of Natalia. Eva, e, uh, Ibram, yeah, e, uh, Ibram, yeah, uh, excuse me, Ibram Marie, 
um, the Funkadactyls, Cameron, Naomi, Cameron and Naomi, um, and JoJo, they defeated, they defeated the True Divas, great match, really enjoyed that one. Then, uh, following that match, it was, uh, it was, R Ryback came out, uh, trying to talk trash to the, the Hall of Fame panel, uh, and then we, um, go, then we had a, a visitor. Has of the world's strongest man of the WWE, Mark Henry, made his return this past Sunday. It's Robert Harris. And what a great return, because Mark Henry defeated Ryback. One of my favorite matches that I will never forget. As you know, those two guys made their... Well, as of... Well, actually, Ryback made his WrestleMania debut earlier this year at WrestleMania 29, and that was incredible. Seeing Mark Henry uh, deadlift those two big tractor trailers were was pretty much big in his career because he is a Olympian. Because uh, he is a Olympian heavy lifter. Because he was. Because he was amazing. And then follow that match, it was the for the World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena took on the likes of Alberto Del Rio. John Cena was definitely on his A-game in this match. He defeated Alberto Del Rio by the, um, the ST, by, by submission the STF. It was amazing. Really enjoyed that match. And then, after that, it was your tag team match. It was C the best in the beard. CM Punk and Daniel Bryan took on the likes of the Wyatt family's members. Luke Harper, Ro Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. I definitely enjoyed that match. Seeing the beard of Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. I think, I hope... They are one one of the best tag teams I've ever seen in wrestling, and I really hope they will get their chance to become tag team champions in the near future. Uh, I uh, I know you guys will like that. In the main event, it was Randy Orton taking on. It was Randy Orton taking on. The big show for the WWE Championship. It was very good. I enjoyed it. It was that. It was a great match, and I gotta tell you, Randy Orton defeated the Big Show without any help of the authority. But Stephanie McMahon and Triple H made their way out, but they did not interfere in the match, like they said. They were not going to do. So, that was a great match. Also, I want to talk to you guys about... Uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about... The passing of one of the great legendary wrestlers... Uh, Maurice Mad Dog Vachon. He was sadly passed away. And I got to tell you, he is one of the great legends... That you'll ever see to compete in the ring. Multiple times AWA champions. And a multiple time tag champions with his brother. With his brother. Um, Paul Vachon. Paul was a great tag top partner to Maurice. My thoughts and prayers go out to the Vachon family. I'm very sorry for your passings. I hope you guys have... A great holidays and Thanksgiving. I know it's a really tough time, but me and the WWE universe are are, are saddened about your loss. So I hope 
Uh, you guys have a great holidays and a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I hope the best is for you guys. So, I just wanted to pass along my thoughts to Mr. Vachon because he was one of my favorites of the AWA, which is old school. And also, a shout out to the wrestling god, John Bradshaw Layfield, and Josh Matthews, and Josh, and Josh Matthews, and WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. Happy birthday, because I know your birthdays are on Black Friday, which is in two days. So, happy birthday to you guys. You want to... Just want to give a quick shout out to y'all. And that's going to do it on another edition of Pipe. I mean, that's another another edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. If you want to contact me on social media, you can. You can add me on Facebook, Matt Man Nelson. You can also follow me on Twitter at Matt Man is WWE. It's really easy. Matt Man is WWE. And also, like this video. Watch all my episodes, episode 1 to episode 26, and I will see you right back here next week on the Pro Wrestling Show, and enjoy tonight's main event and tomorrow night's about wrestling. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and happy holidays. See you back here next week on the Pro Wrestling Show.